Where is she? Are you the husband? saw the accident, but apparently her car came through the guardrail about 20 feet up. It rolled as it fell. She's unconscious. See if you can get through to her. Don't try to move her, though. Mary? Mary? Well, I get changed. I'll fix your drink first. Uh, you did say this was going to be a quick change. Well, it takes a little doing to get out of a dress like this. Oh, I'll help. No, no, I'm fine. No, you're not. Look, your hands are shaking. Of course they are. Delia, what are you nervous about? Your husband just gave us a gift of practically the entire night. He's in emergency surgery. He'll be tied up for hours. There's no chance he's going to be interrupting us. Well, he wasn't supposed to interrupt us the last time. Do you want to have to go climbing out the window and standing there in the freezing rain again? <laughs> it's not raining. And I'm not cold. You said you'd wait till I got changed. You'd go somewhere else. This is not a ploy. You want me nervous and worried every minute? Preferably not. But I do want you. And I am impatient. I know that. Just so we understand each other. But why, when I told you I couldn't see you, did you crash Joe and Siobhan's wedding reception? <laughs> because it was the only place I was sure you'd be. You've been alarmingly elusive, Delia. Yeah, but you could have ruined everything. Everybody was wondering about us, and they're probably still talking. I don't care. You don't mean that. Do you want to break up my marriage? That's a very interesting question. Break up your marriage? Well, I want you to be happy. And I know that he'll never appreciate you the way I do. Yes, there is a large part of me that wants you all to myself. Preferably in a terrific penthouse apartment right near the office. Love in the afternoon as well as love in the morning and the evening. We'd be free to take trips together. Remember that beach I told you about? You can't be serious. What about your wife? My wife is entirely conventional. You're not. That's why I adore you. Look, you're making too much of this. I never agreed to anything that's more complicated than this already is. I love my husband, and I want to stay married to him. My darling Delia, I know that. And that's the whole point. That's why I'm willing to settle for less than your total attention. But we shared something magical. And I'm not getting what I deserve. Now, I want and I need more of you. You know, when I loaned you the money to continue your investments, I assumed that our relationship would continue as well. You said that was separate. A business transaction, and I gave you collateral. But you can't think that I'd want to take advantage of your position there. I know how miserable you'd be if I had to foreclose on Ryan's. I'll go change. Hurry. I will, but there's a lot of buttons. I'd love to help.
Well, well, Mr. Fox. Still working? Roger? How bad is it? Looks like a neck injury. I'm not too sure. Come on. Wake up. I'm here, honey. Come on. Just open your eyes. That's all. No, no big deal. Just open your eyes. Will you do something for her? Get her out of there. Emergency squad's on its way. Until then. Mary? It's Jack. Wake up. Honey? And it, man, don't do this. Please. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Jack. God, loving Father, you are the source and goodness of all love. And you refuse forgiveness, and you never refuse forgiveness to all those who are sorry for their sins. Have mercy on your daughter Mary, who is about to return to you. May this holy anointing and our prayers made in faith assist her and relieve her in pain of body and soul. Forgive all her sins and strengthen her with your loving protection. We ask this, Father, through your, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who conquered death and opened for us all the way to eternal life where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 I'm afraid of heights. Siobhan. Put me down. Not until you open your eyes. Joe. Siobhan, if we're going to have our first fight. Our first fight. Our first legal fight. I'd like to do it with both our feet on the ground. Mm. Come on, I'm about to collapse. <laughs> oh, Joe. Thank you. Me? This is standard European plan. I'll bet. But you forgot one thing. What? Put me down. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Surprised? Well, I shouldn't be, but, uh, yeah. You get the champagne, and uh, I'll go for the chocolates. You're on. <laughs> you know, we're going to have to get an early start if we want to make Sea Island by tomorrow. Oh. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you tired? No. I know I should be, but... It was a good day, wasn't it? It was everything. And just the beginning. You know, your family was terrific. They seemed genuinely happy for us. Even Da? Oh, yeah. Even, uh, even took time out to give me a little advice. He did? Uh -huh. oh. He said, the bride is always right. Right side of the bed, right side of the closet. You <laughs> scam! He said he learned it on his honeymoon, and it would save us endless confusion. Oh. Well, could have been worse. At least he showed up. You're still worried about Mary? No. You were thinking about it the whole way down here. How'd you know that? Well, it's natural. Besides, we're talking about everyone and everything but, which is what you do when you're really upset about something. Oh, wow. That's scary. What is it? 
You're not supposed to know me that well yet. <laughs> what are we going to do for the next 50 years? I doubt we'll even have started yet. Siobhan, do you think maybe your sister didn't show up because of me? What do you mean? Well, I'm not exactly her favorite person in the world. I figured... No, maybe. no. I'm sure that had nothing to do with it. We had an argument the other night, and if there's any reason well, at all... Up. Well, old stuff. You know how we are. Didn't have anything to do with you or Tizo or anything like that. I promise. Okay. I just wish... I really wanted her to be there today. Do any of you like to try? Uh. Mary, it's me, dear. You're going to wake up now. Would you do that for your old ma? Hmm? Come on now. You know you can do that. Can't you, darling? Mary, I want you to wake up. Hear me, darling. Open your eyes now. Please, Mary. That, that's it. That's my good girl. Come on now, along. Just a little bit more, dear. Yes. That's right. The uh, hospital didn't need me after all. The patient died. I'll be right out. She uh, wanted to change before we got down to business. I'm sorry about the patient. Oh, so am I. Handsome, energetic young man cut off in his prime. You must see a lot of that. Now and then. I really feel for your doctors when I think about it. All that skill, all that training, all those devoted hours of duty. And yet there are those moments when you must feel totally helpless. We're uh, often able to turn things around. If you get there in time. You know, I'm surprised at the, uh, the late hours you brokers keep. Uh, well, doctors aren't the only ones who have to respond to emergencies. The market may be closed here, but on the other side of the world, it's alive and kicking. You know, we're connected by computers to all the international trading centers. Have to keep a finger on the pulse, so to speak. A trader in your uh, field is always alert to opportunities. Oh, yes. I've said to deal you many times. We at Grimley and Fox are ready to serve our clients whenever the need arises. I assume you know her portfolio has taken a downward turn recently. Yes, yes, I do. The market's uh, very chancy. In fact, I'm paying my own investments a little more attention. Good idea. Oh, this me something. It's always working so hard for me all the time. Well, I hope your other clients aren't suffering from diminished uh, attention. No, no. <coughs> See? Excuse me. What I told you, you are sick. He's got a cold. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <coughs> no, you're not. It sounds terrible. <coughs> if he thinks Excuse a me. client needs him. No, I'll be all right. <clears throat> no, you should be home in bed. Well, maybe I should uh, take a look. <laughs> That's not necessary. No, no, I insist. Professional courtesy. I won't even send you a bill. Delia, would you get me a kitchen knife? Uh, just uh, stay put. We'll do it right here. Oh, you're a little uh, febrile. Feverish. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Mm. Mm. Nasty. Mm. Ma, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't be out at all. Any exertion and, uh, 
You'll be off your feet a long time. How did you say this started? <laughs> you gotta chill. Isn't that what you said? I got caught in the rain. Actually, I have been feeling a little better today. Well, don't let that deceive you. If these things aren't taken care of properly, they can get out of proportion. My suggestion is that you uh, go home and curl up with a nice hot water bottle. Have your uh, wife make you a hot toddy. Bed rest, lots of liquids, aspirin every four hours. But not to. You can uh, call me in the morning if you like. I'll be in the office first thing. Oh, um, watch your step. I always do. We still have that problem to deal with, Delia. I know. First things first. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, thank you. He did look awful, didn't he? Mm. Delia, is he bothering you? No! Oh, I'm so glad you're home. You're not worried about Dan Fox. Roger, he's, he's just business. <laughs> It hurts you that Mary didn't show up. Well, I missed her, yeah. She shouldn't have done that. Well, I don't blame her. Not true. I guess I do. I really love her, you know? She knows that. I know. I think she does in spite of the yelling and in spite of everything, but it just didn't feel right. I had time to get used to Patrick and Kathleen not being there, but it's more than that, too, I guess. The whole day, somehow, just didn't feel, I don't know, complete. I kept expecting to see her running down the aisle, and she'd be mad that we'd started without her. I'd get mad because she was late, and then we'd have a fight like we always do. But it'd be all right again. I'm sorry. Oh, you shouldn't be. Other than that, everything was exactly the way I wanted it. Everything. <laughs> Hello, darling. Mm. Yes, I'm here. There's been an accident, but I don't want you to worry. The doctor is on his way. Yeah. He's going to take good care of you. Mm. In the meantime, I'm here, and Jack is here, mm. and your father is here, mm. and we're not going to leave you. Mm. Now, don't be afraid now. There's nothing to be frightened mm. of, love. Mm. Oh, are you in pain, darling? No. I don't feel. There's nothing. Well, I'm glad. You know no. then? Yes, love. He... Baby. What? Beep. Baby. Oh, Ryan is fine. Right this minute, she's sound asleep at home. Mrs. Shaw is taking good care of her. Mm. You're not to worry about that. No. And she's safe and sound, love. And so are you. Oh, you should have seen it today. Mm. All done up in her flower girl costume. Oh, she was mm. pretty. Don't, Mary, Mary, you're not to go to sleep. You understand that? You used to play that trick on me when you were a little girl and you wanted to not go to school in the morning. So please, Mary, hear me now. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes, dear. Open your eyes. There. No. No, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere, love. I'm not going anywhere. Jack wants to talk to you. I'll be standing right by. Right here. Hi. How do you feel? Nothing. Hey, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I promise. Jack. I love you. Yeah. 
It's all right. It's gonna be. Mm. Gotta admit, that's a heck of a way to get out of a wedding. God, I'm sorry. Honey. Honey, hold my hand. Please. Original reality series on SoapNet. Mom and Dad are moving in for a financial intervention. It's a matter of life or debt. Bank of Mom and Dad. All new Wednesday at 10, only on SoapNet.